everyone. Today is the first of many lessons on Microsoft Word. We are just going to show you the basic concepts of Word, what it looks like, how it can be used, and we are going to compare it with OpenOffice as well. So why would you need word processing? Word processing can be used for many things like typing brochures, letters, doing reports. You can even create a Word document that can be saved on the web page. Right, so let's start with what Word looks like. When you open Microsoft Word, at the very top of the screen, you will see a number of tabs. These tabs are linked to various ribbons. For instance, if I click on the Home tab, it consists of the Home ribbon and a number of groups like the font group, the paragraph group, and the styles group. Each group has different functions, but we'll get to those functions a little bit later. At the top of your Word document, you will find your quick links. And at the bottom of your Word document, you have your taskbar, which shows you how many pages you have and how many words you have typed. On the right-hand side, you have your scrolling bar. And last but not least, in the top right-hand corner, we've got our minimize button, our restore or maximize button, and the close button. Right, in OpenOffice, it looks very similar in that you have a file menu, an edit, a view, and an insert menu, etc. And then you have the various components like font, font size, bold, italic, and under, underline. But unlike a tab activating a group, in OpenOffice, a tab activates a menu. Right, I'm going back to Microsoft Word. What happens if you have to write an English essay or type an English essay? The best place to do it in would be Microsoft Word. When you open a Word document, it opens with a blank page, and the cursor, it starts off with a flashing line on the left-hand side of the page. This flashing thing over here is your cursor. And wherever that cursor is, that is where your typing will start. For instance, Okay, so wherever the cursor flashes, that is where your text will be inserted. There's a few things you need to remember with Microsoft Word, is that you only leave one space between a word and the next word. You leave one space between a full stop and the next capital letter. And you never ever need to press enter, because Word has a feature called Word Wrap, where once you get to the end of the line, it automatically goes on to the next line. I'll just show you what it looks like. Can you see it automatically went to the next line when it came to the end of the previous line? In OpenOffice, it works exactly the same way. It opens with a blank document. You'll see the flashing cursor, and where that cursor flashes is where your text will be inserted in exactly the same way as Word. It also has a Word Wrap feature, so you never ever have to press Enter. You just need to press Enter for both applications if you want to start a new paragraph. That's basically what Word and OpenOffice look like. It's a very good idea to practice and go and familiarize yourself with what the tabs and the ribbons and the groups consist of. So until next time, enjoy doing your homework.